Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna go over how to define a variable, how to read values from our keyboards, how to assign a value to a variable and how to add, multiply, subtract and divide two numbers. So we're gonna open Lazarus now. For those of you who aren't using Lazarus, the syntax is exactly the same, so don't worry, only difference is Lazarus is a bit more user friendly. Uh, as usual, we see form 1 and source editor, we don't need that, so we go file, new, project, another project program, double click that. Do I want to save? Of course not. This is the automatically generated code by Lazarus. As usual, we don't need this segment of the code, it's completely useless and I don't want to confuse you guys, so I'll just delete that. Uh, so, how do we define a variable? Between program and begin, we type or a b integer semicolon and c colon integer all right so we defined a and b to be integer and c also to be integer now why didn't i define c with a and b you will see later i will change the c type uh, for now we will go over types integer and real uh, and later in these tutorials I will introduce new types to you of course. So let's start with uh, a message to tell the user what to do. Write line Enter the first number after that we read line A and after that we do this all over again just for B and the second number instead of the first. Alright, so what does the read line command do? It reads a number from a line or well in our case it's a number but it can be also a set of characters uh, it can be words so anyway for now just uh, stick with the read the number part let's now add a and b and store them into c so that's done like this c receives the value of a plus b colon plus equals is receives value that's how you read it. And it means that uh, the result of this uh, adding will be stored into the variable C. Alright, now let's uh, write our result. Write line. The result is C. And then just type read line so we stay on the command prompt. I explained that in the previous tutorial. Anyway, let's run the program now. So enter first number 3, second number 5, we got 8. Alright, let's try subtracting now. Same thing only you enter a minus here instead of a plus. Uh, 3, 5, you get minus 2. Pretty much same stories for multiplying. Alright, we got 3, minus 5, you get minus 15. And for dividing. Now, this is where it gets uh, kind of tricky. While adding, subtracting and multiplying integers always produces an integer, dividing uh, doesn't. So, for example, 3 divided by 4 is uh, 0.75 and uh, that's obviously not an integer. So what we will do here for the case of integer is instead of that symbol, type div. Now this will div a and b and always produce an integer. Uh, I will explain the mechanics of that now. So, 3 
divided by 4 is 0. But uh, 3 divided by 4 obviously isn't 0. So what this does? 3 is 0 times 4 plus 3. Confused? The plus 3 is uh, what you have left after the division. And I will prove that that's how it works now. Uh, there is another command, it's called mode, and that will expose the free part. Anyway, free divided by 4, 3. So what we cut left after the division is 3. So 3 divided by 4 is 0 times 4 plus 3. Uh, anyway, now I'm gonna change uh, the C here to real. And now we can use this symbol again to divide. Let's run it now. So 3 divided by 4 is 7.5 exponent to the power of the minus 1. This is true, but uh, it's kinda written out in a messy way. You know, you just wanted to write out 0.75. That's not much to ask, so Pascal of course has a command for that. After this C here, we type colon, zero, colon, and then the amount of decimals you want. So, if you type, uh, let's say, one decimal, let's run it, dividing three and four gets you 0.8. Now, if we type two here instead of one, Dividing 3 and 4 gives us 0 0.75, as it should. And if we type 3 here, it gives us 0 0.750. So you get the idea, right? Uh, if if uh, you do any operation with uh, A and B integers that produce uh, real, like let's say, uh, I don't know, summing them, you'll also get uh, the answer in this format. So, 7.000. Alright, now let's change this back to integer. I want to show you that uh, this isn't defined for integer values. Uh, I want to show you that uh, using this symbol to divide here isn't good, obviously. You see, we got an error, we can't do that. Because an integer divided by integer isn't always an integer. Quite obvious, right? Alright, so that concludes uh, this tutorial. If you like to subscribe to our channel and follow us on our website, the link is in the description below. So see you in the next tutorials. Thank you for listening.